Hello everyone, welcome to Gautam Digital Learning. My name is Srinivas. I am the faculty and solution architect for ServiceNow. In this session, we are going to learn user administration. User administration comes under user management. In this chapter, we are going to learn how can we manage users in ServiceNow. What do you mean by manage? Who will create users, groups and roles in ServiceNow? ServiceNow administrator is responsible to create users, groups and roles. Now let's begin. Let me create users and groups and roles one by one. So let's move to chapter number 18, user administration. So user administration is mainly used to manage individual users who can access your instance by defining them users as in the systems for example when they want to access service now instance first of all that person should be present in user table so let, now let me show you guys how can we create new user in service now in user table this is very pretty much simple but very very important even real time also so let me take the notepad so basically there are three types of users in service now there are three types of user interface first one is end user first one is end user interface second one itil user third one administration administration so what about administration guys so we are service not administrator right so now let me show you how can we create a user in service now platform let's begin go to user administration and click on users and create new user this is about user record and then please provide user details user first name user id is srinivas.s first name is srinivas last name s if required title and department you can you can provide title and a department also title is it technician department is it if you wanted to provide color email address also you can provide color email address cnoos.s at the rate gmail.com in real time organization you have to provide the real time domain.com and come to the language so we have different languages in service now it can support almost 18 international languages at this moment you can choose english other languages are not available right so next one if you want to make this person vip enable the checkbox if not required leave it out empty then you can save it i have successfully submitted or created a new user record after creation of new user record in service now by default service now system will create one primary email device is used to create for cnivas this primary email device is work as a email communication it's a kind of email right so now let me check it out after creation of the user let me set the password so click on set password second step generate third one copy fourth one save password fifth one close please remember user id and paste the password over here username is cnivas.s this is the password okay so now let me log out from admin let me log out from administrator then you can log in with cnivas provide your username srinivas.s and provide the password and click on login so this is current password guys username keep it as this current password you are already copied right same password you can pass over here so this is my default password guys but it's very difficult to remember this password while logging into my account that's why when Srinivas is first time logging into account, then system will ask to reset the password. So provide new password. 
and confirm password as well enter yes so shin was he successfully logged in into account next 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 got it and pin out application navigator see Srinivas is able to access only one application, it's a single application, right? That is self-service. Why is able to access only one application, guys? Service now and users can access only one application called self-service application. Okay, so when I create, so how the person make end user, if you create any user, not provide any role to the person, not assign any role to the person, the person automatically become end user. Okay, now let's move to logout. Who will create users in service now? Only service now administrators can create users. Again, log in with admin to create another user, like ITL user. Let me create one more user. Gautam. So when we create a new user and service now, the record is going to store in which table, guys? Sys underscore user dot list and enter. This is all about predefined users. One user record I had created recently. Going to create one more user, just click on new button and provide user details. In real time, who will provide details? Your client will provide user details. Accordingly, you can create new user and service now. Go to user ID. The name of user ID is Gautam.s. First name Gautam, last name yes. You can choose title. Any title you can choose, it doesn't matter. Belongs to which department IT. Email not required. Language also not mandatory, but even though you can provide some details and save it out. This person, primary email device created, right? This person, I want to make ITIL user. How can you make this person ITIL user, guys? Scroll down, go to roles, click on edit. If you assign ITIL role to the person, the person will become ITIL user. person will become ITL user. So, and update. Let me, then you have to set the password, right? Click on set password, generate, copy, save, and close. Close, right? So, let me Paste your password over here. Username is Gautam.s. This is password. So let me log out from system administrator. Then again log in with Gautam.s and provide current password. Gautam is first time logging into account, right? That's why it is asking to reset the password. Provide current password and set new password as well. And click on submit. I have successfully created and log in with Gautam also, right? Now Gautam is able to access almost 16 to 18 applications, right? See, based on the role assignment, the people will get permissions and uh, get access for respective applications. Next one, log out from Gautam and log in with admin. Provide admin password then create new user go to user administration and navigate to users create new user satya 
dot s this is user id first name satya last name s you can choose any title and a department as well not required color email it's not mandatory just you can choose language remaining details also not required just you can save it out this person i want to make a admin how can you make this person admin go to the roles click on edit and when you want to make this person system administrator just you can assign the role called admin admin and save it out when we assign a role administrator this person will become administrator so then let me set the password for satya click on set password second step generate third one copy then save and close let me save the details over here this is password and username is satya.s so let me log in with satya satya.s this is username and provide password login satya is first time logging into my account that's why it is asking to reset the password same password we can paste in current password then you can provide new password click on submit next 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 got it and all right guys so this is about how can we create users in service now basically there are three types of users in service now first one is end user second one itl user third one is administrator as the administrator how can you differentiate this user is administrator this user is itl user this user is it like end user based on the role assignment when you create new user if you not assign any role to the person the person become end user when you create a user if you assign a role itl the person become itl user similarly when you create a user if you assign a role admin the person will become administrator so these three are three user roles and uh, user service now user interfaces and similarly we can create group navigate to user administration if you want to create the group roles location countries company and department if you want to create remaining so we can create remaining also just following by the my documentation okay guys thanks for your time have a great day